This is South Africa and this is Australia. They are two of the most mixable countries in GeoGuessr and it's something a lot of new players get wrong all the time. <laughs> So in this video I am going to show you exactly how you differentiate the two. There are a lot of cool tips and tricks for both of these countries, so if you pay attention closely, you will become a master at both in no time. I'm trying to make more GeoGuessr content, so if you like it, please please let me know. It really is so awesome to get some feedback from you guys. But yeah, let's get into it. So as you can see here we are in a round and there are a lot of different reasons that people mix South Africa and Australia so much. Uh, the biggest reason is of course because of both these countries are in the southern hemisphere far beneath the equator as you can see South Africa is here and Australia is here. One of the easiest tips in GeoGuessr is to look which direction the sun is. As you can see here I'm looking directly north and we can see the sun on our screen which means we're going to be in in the southern hemisphere. However, if I was for example in Europe, I could look south and see the sun, but as you can see, we don't see that here. South Africa and Australia also have very similar climates with a very dry interior and some greener bits on the outskirts of the country near the coast. But let's see here what the biggest clues are. You can see here that the outer lines are completely white and the inner ones are also white. So there's no yellow hair and this is a very good tip for Australia because Australia has only white lines. If you see yellow lines you cannot be in Australia. So let's just get a Australia guess in and here we have a South Africa location which as you can see these outer lines here are yellow and that is a very very common clue in South Africa. So if you're just starting out I recommend looking for the yellow outer lines. The yellow outer lines is a very very good clue for being in South Africa or some of the surrounding countries like Lesotho or Eswatini or Botswana. This map has only South Africa but if you want to I can make a video to help you distinguish those three countries from South Africa itself. So let's get in our South Africa guess. And here we have a new round. As you can see, there are yellow outer lines again, which means we have to be in South Africa. And this is the second difference I want you to remember. South Africa has way less trees than Australia. As you can see when you look around, there are very little trees. There are some small bushes and stuff, but there's no big trees. Keep in mind though, there are also some times when there's not a lot of trees in Australia, but it's much more common for there to not be trees in South Africa. Here on the other hand, we have an Australia round, again with the completely white lines. And you can see here, we have quite a lot of big trees. The most common type of tree in all of Australia is by far the eucalyptus tree, which looks like this. If you're just starting out, it can be a little bit difficult to recognize, but trust me, as you play, you are going to recognize them much easier. And as we can see here in the Australia round, we have a lot of these trees over here. There's, they are just all over the place. It truly really is a very common tree in Australia. But do beware because those kinds of trees are also found in South Africa. If you see in the distance here, I think those are eucalypt trees. And here we have the third difference, which is the mountains. Something you'll see a lot in South Africa and Lesotho are these mountains with a tabletop. Like it looks like it's completely flat on the top with steep, steep sides like this. And when you see mountains like this in a completely dry place, you are usually in South Africa. Be careful though, because there are some mountains which could look like this in Australia, but it's pretty much exclusive to this region of the world. And there can also of course be mountains in Australia, however the mountains in Australia tend to be in much more green areas. So if you see mountains in a dry place, that could be a sign that you are not in Australia, but you are in fact in South Africa instead. It's also much more common with those mountains close to Lesotho. And here we have a Australia round, and as you can see there are of course mountains in Australia as well, but it's a bit more green and not so arid as you could see mountains in South Africa. And now I'm going to show you some road markings that are exclusive for the two countries. In South Africa you can find these red and white chevrons I think they're called on the side of the road and you will not find these in Australia. 
In Australia, on the other hand, you can find these white sticks on the side of the road, which either has a red circle in them or a long red square. So these two are very, very useful to remember. Australia can have this really, really grainy camera, which is called Generation 1 coverage. And you cannot find this in South Africa. In fact, this coverage is almost exclusively found in Australia and the USA. And the very last thing I want to tell you about South Africa is the car meta. In South Africa you can find this kind of blue car with a little antenna sticking out of it. Uh, it looks very similar to the car that you can find in a lot of European countries. However, you cannot find this car in Australia. So now we've gone through a lot of differences and hints in the two countries and it can be a lot to take in. So if you feel like it's a lot, you can either watch this video again, you can write them down. And there's an amazing website called Plunkit.net. And Plunkit has awesome guides for almost every GeoGuessr country. So I really do recommend that you check it out. I will link it in the description. But that was it for this video. I hope you learned something and have a nice day. Goodbye.